Yellow River State Forest has been incredible. We had so much intel on this area from the Iowa BFRO, plus we were able to examine the evidence they had gathered on previous expeditions. Just in the time we've been here, hear that? Yeah. We've had action on every night we've gone out. So now we need to pull all that together to figure out where to go for one final night investigation. That humidity was all. Hey, Matt. Hey. What's going on? Looking around. I figured we should take a look at the map here. Things have happened down at the low spots along here. And of course, you have to consider, is this where the Sasquatches are? Or you know, is this just where the people happen to be, where they have the incidents? Down at the bridge, I think it's still a great spot. I did see one thing walk through the tree line before I saw anything else. It looked like an upright figure, but I couldn't say for sure I couldn't see any detail. The spot where Bobo saw this thing walking is within 200 yards of where Bobo and I and Bob heard those strange noises the first night. Despite all of our scouting this week, we found no better location to do our final night investigation than the place where we did our first night investigation. That's where we got two possible hits over this week, and that's also where all the animals seem to be right now. Unquestionably, we have to go there. After having spent a few days and nights in this forest, we think we know the right area to focus on, and we've developed a plan for that area. Eric and his daughter Andrea have a vehicle with a therm mounted on top. Renee's going to be in that vehicle and help them go up and down the road, scanning off into the fields using his rooftop therm. Bobo and Cliff and I are going to be a ground team. We're going to be moving around around the edge of a big field near whereby both Cliff and Bobo said they've gotten possible activity. We're also going to have some BFRO people positioned at strategic spots to be able to listen for sounds and help direct us into what may be a Sasquatch lurking around. Ooh, what is that? Dude, that was a pretty big branch snap. Is that you? No. Matt. Yeah. Right here. We got something right here in the bush. Where? Right here. I don't see anything at all. There must be a big old bush right here. I can hear it moving. I know. How the f do you get in there? Oh, did you hear that? What is that? What was that squealing noise I just heard? It almost sounded like a pig. Bob, did you hear a squealing noise over by the road? I hear a self-hit, it was right behind me. Over. What did it sound like to you? Monkey chatter, over. Squatches are known for making it sounds like monkey chatter and pig squealing, and that's exactly what we heard. Bob heard it too, and he's a lot closer to the source of that sound, and he grew up on a pig farm. Bob, how far in do you think it was? About 40 or 50 yards. We thought it sounded like a piglet. It sounded awfully loud to be a piglet. I've never heard a scream like that. To me, it sounded like monkey chatter. That might have been a squatch. There's Steve Moon's car. He's a static sentry. He's going to keep us posted on anything that's happening alongside the road. Maybe they'll hear something, see something run across the road. You seeing anything, Andrea? I'm not. No. Just trees. So how often do you go out squatching with your dad, Andrea? No, whenever we really have free time. Yeah? We go camping, sit around the campfire, just see if anything happens. Outside of a periodic warm tree or some of the hot gravel, I haven't seen anything yet. I mean, give me a chipmunk or something. There's a red light right there. Where? On the road. That's not on the road. It must be. It's right next to the road. Bob, you copy, right? 10-4, over. Did you just turn on a red headlight a minute ago? Negative. Did any BFRO people turn on a headlight near the edge of the field? Negative, over. Cliff, look across the field where I'm looking. There's a, hu there's a human-like figure that we just had a red light from over there. Yeah, by the tree, right? Yeah, and that thing's sitting there watching us, and it's crouching down. None of our people turned on the red light. Dude, I think that's what we came for, right over there. No, what? Uh... It's moving. 
He walked off on two legs, dude. Do not follow me. I gotta go straight ahead. All right, I'm flanking to the right. Okay. There it is again, I poked up. Dude, it's a squatch. I'm getting it, I'm getting the footage. Still there. Matt. Buddy. Is that Steve? Oh. You. I asked if anybody had turned on a red headlamp over here. Yeah. We saw a red headlamp in this direction. That's why I came here. I finally bust out my light, shine it right on it, and it's one of our people. It's Bob. He's saying he saw this red light too, and he wanted to come over and investigate. And yeah, it was disappointing, and I'm sure he felt a little embarrassed about it, but frankly, I was kind of frustrated. Here's money. So who was it? It was Bob. Remember the red light we saw? Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently he saw that too, and he came, walked over to check out what it was, but he didn't train, he didn't let anybody know that he was doing it. I saw his red light. I saw his light. He said he never turned on his light. That's strange. This is the most frustrated I've been while squatching in a long time. We've now done enough to draw attention to ourselves that anything that is out here would have decided whether it's gonna to continue to approach or walk around us or back off. So now it's time to meet up with the other team and just call it a night. Well, there they are. Well, tonight was quiet for us. What about you guys? We saw a red eye glow and we also heard a noise. It was over in this direction. We came out here. We asked Bob where he heard it. He said it was back in there too. Didn't sound like a pig to him. He thought it sounded monkey-like. It sounds to me like what a young Squatch sounded like, an almost high-pitched metallic. Ah! Anyway, I think uh, we probably scared them off, but I think this is one of the most promising zones in Iowa, and I'm certainly glad I came and saw it. Yeah, Iowa's a lot better than I expected. In fact, Iowa wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> God, let's go. No, oh, God, dear. let's go. What? Our time here in Iowa is proof that Sasquatches can live pretty much anywhere in the continental U.S. This state may be known for its agriculture and farmland, but if you come to places like Yellow River State Forest, up here in the northeastern part of the state, it turns out the habitat is perfect for squatches. Ooh, what is that? I have no doubt they were out here tonight. And I'm sure they've been spooking around these parts for quite some time. 